Hi guys. I'm gonna show you how to uh, clean cockle clamps uh, today. I'm gonna use the oyster knife and also I'm gonna use the uh, small knife. Here. Yeah. So here the clamp, right? There's an opening here. It will close as you touch it. So you have to make sure you do it fast, but at the same time, just be safe. Be careful. Uh, do not cut yourself. Do not poke yourself. Yeah. Do not jab yourself. So the trick to get this guy to open up is to uh, soak it in uh, hot water for a few minutes. This is hot tap water. Okay, hot tap water. Do not put boiling water or even you put boiling water. That's okay. Just uh, do it quick and you can uh, put ice on it. So you don't you don't cook the uh, lamp. Uh, okay, that's what I do and uh, you just watch once it's open up it's easy to run the knife through both sides to uh, detach the muscles Okay, you got one side, and then you can do the other side. There you go. You got, you got this to open, yeah? Once you open, you can uh, cut the remaining uh, uh, muscles. See here? Do not touch it. Touch it, it will close. You have to do it quick.
cut it here. You want to remove all the green stuff here. Yeah, right there. Remove it. See, this is what it looked like. Everything looks uh, white and clean. That's how it should look. Take your time, clean it good. To make your clamps taste a lot better. There you go guys, you have the basic uh, technique how to clean the uh, cockle clamps, right? So when the clamp is alive, it's close, very tight like this, yeah, very tight. You cannot, it's very hard to slit your knife in there to cut it, to uh, open it up. So what I did was I soaked in hot tap water for a few minutes. And that, that hot water, it keep it warm and um, make the clam to open up a little bit. 
Then you can run your knife in there. You can open that up like you saw. Okay. And um, <clears throat> so once you do that, remove all the clamps, and then lastly, you remove all the guts or whatever the uh, the black stuff, the green stuff in there. It will not taste good. Trust me. So your finished clam look like this. All right. And you can bake it, do whatever you like. Just don't overcook the clams. It will be uh, rubbery. Uh, okay, here, that's what it look. That's what it look like. All right. So yeah, you have the basic idea. And then, uh, yeah. Thank you for uh, your support. Thank you for watching. And uh, see you in the next uh, video.